Quacky, you ate too much candy. It's bad for your health. I... I didn't eat too much. Kiki, your phone is ringing. Toothy, what's wrong with you? Ouch! I have a bad toothache. Can you help me? Ow! No problem. We'll be right there. Toothy, we're here. Wow! Oh, please check it for me. Okay, we'll examine you first. You have so many bad teeth. All the bad teeth have to be extracted. Let's pull out the bad teeth. It really doesn't hurt anymore. But without teeth, I can't eat. What should I do? I once saw a grandpa who had lost all his teeth. But he had a set of dentures. Dentures? That sounds not bad. How about we make you a set of dentures as well? Great! I had six teeth before. Can you design them for me? No problem. Let's start designing. Put together a mouth first. The mouth is done. Let's paint the teeth. Next, we'll design different denture styles for Toothy to choose from. Okay, just let me record it. Let's put one tooth at the top and five teeth at the bottom. This is the first way to divide teeth. Let's take a picture of it. Six teeth are divided into one upper tooth and five lower teeth. Now, we take one tooth from the bottom to the top. What do you see now? I found that there is one more tooth on the top that makes two upper teeth. There is one tooth less on the bottom, so it makes four lower teeth. That's right. This is the second way to divide teeth. Let's take a picture of it. Six teeth can be divided into two and four teeth. Kids, what other kind of dentures can you design? Give it a try. Drag the tooth and see. You found the third way. Six teeth can be divided into three upper teeth and three lower teeth. This is the fourth way. Six teeth can be divided into four upper teeth and two lower teeth. You found the fifth way. Six teeth can be divided into five upper teeth and one lower tooth. You found all the ways to divide the teeth and designed five sets of dentures. Great! Let's take a look at the results recorded by Quacky. Did you find any patterns? Patterns? What patterns? Look at this side from top to bottom first. One tooth, two teeth, three teeth, the number of teeth is increasing. Wow! I found a pattern too! When you look at them from top to bottom, the number of teeth is decreasing. Five teeth, four teeth, three teeth. That's right! If we start with one tooth and divide them in sequence, we'll be able to find all the ways to divide them. <laughs> Toothy, these are the styles of dentures. Which one do you like? Wow, these denture styles all look great. Kids, can you pick one for me? That's a nice choice. <laughs> the next step is to find the material to make the dentures. I have some gemstones. It would be great if they could be made into dentures. No problem. First, cut the gemstone into the shape of a tooth. Cut off... Beautiful gemstone teeth! Great! 
All gemstone teeth are finished! It looks really nice! Put the teeth into the mouth according to the style Toothy chose. It's done! Thank you! These gemstone dentures are so cool! <laughs> By the way, Toothy, how come you had so many bad teeth? That's because I ate too much candy, and I didn't like to brush my teeth. You can't eat too much candy. You'll get a cavity. It's bad for your health. I will not eat too much candy anymore. <laughs> what a fun day! Practice with Quacky! Any two robots whose number of gears add up to seven are good friends. Put them on the platform. Six. One. Six and one can add up to seven. Three. Four. Three and four can add up to seven. Two. Five. Two and five can add up to seven. Kiki wants to decorate his flower stand. Please find three different ways to put the flower pots on the two layers of the stand. can be divided into four and four. What else ways can you arrange them? Try to move one flower pot to the other layer. Eight can be divided into seven and one. What else ways can you arrange them? Try to move one flower pot to the other layer. Eight can be divided into six and two. Do it with Quacky! Sweetheart, let's toss paper flowers together. Toss paper flowers? How? First, we need to make some flowers. Sure! Draw a flower on a piece of paper. Then cut the flower out with scissors. And paint it with the color you like. Paint the back of the paper with a different color. Make a few more paper flowers just like this, and you are done. It looks so beautiful! Toss the paper flowers and see how many are blue and how many are red. Check this out! Hi! Four blue flowers and two red flowers. Let's record the result. I've recorded it. Great! Toss them a few more times to see how many results you can get. Okay! Kids, you can make two-color paper flowers with your mom and dad as well. And toss Hi. them to see who can record the most results. <laughs>